Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got some mail today and now I'm going to open it on camera and figure out what it is. So this is from Missy over at Do What You Love. I recognize the address and this looks like it's going to be a return project um, because this is my handwriting here. And yes, so um, there's a hole in the bag, which is no bueno, but uh, we're gonna use that hole. And we're gonna open, open. Uh, yeah, this looks like it's gonna be the, uh, I wanna say this is the December project shirt. It is! <gasps> Look at this bag! Oh my gosh, I love this bag! Sorry, I'm like being all goofified. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this bag. There are owls, and I love some owls. And I I actually normally do, like, the colors like this that are, you know, very neutral, kind of um, what you would think of if you're thinking, like, vintage-y. But for some reason, this year, um, I did a swap with um, Missy over at Do What You Love. And she normally loves these uh, colors. So I wanted to make sure that I did my project in the colors that she normally likes. Anyway, when I did, I fell in love with the color combinations. It was just so beautiful. So to get this bag after falling in love with the combinations, it's just, it's so just pleasing to my eyeballs. I love it. Oh, this is awesome. She actually, pieced this scarf together on top of the owl. So those are different pieces of this sticker and she created a scarf and she did it twice. That is too cool. Very innovative. And I love the um, uh, hats here on the owls. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but um, this bag was created by Miss Terry Smith. Um, so I love this and I love like just the different things that she's doing here. Like I said, it's really quite innovative. It's really, really neat. So she actually globbed a, uh -oh. now I've, I've touched it and it, it came off. Anyway, she globbed a, a glob of glue right here and then she poured on the glitter. Now, normally when you think of doing something like this, you're writing a script or outlining or whatever, but she did the same concept to highlight these leaves on the branches, and this glitter is actually jumbo glitter. So I think that's really, really, really cool. And she's got some holly leaves down here, and she created holly berries out of uh, little tiny gemstones. That is really cool. And then she's got snowflakes down here. And I love these um, burlap flowers. These burlap flowers are just freaking cool. I love them. Like, I like burlap. I like twine. Um, this is really cool because it's like a really good combination of both the things that I'm normally crazy about or rather... I'm really, really normally crazy about and my new kind of love, which is those really cool um, pale pinks and greens and blues and yeah. So, and that's, and I'm, that's just the front of the bag or one side of the bag. And I can actually feel that there's other things on the other bag. And this is a really, really, really thick, like, I don't know if you can see how thick that is. That's a really, really, really thick felt sticker or stickers and it says ho ho hoot to go with the owls which is really cool um so oh that's neat okay so i'm gonna open this up so you guys can see the side that's cool so that's the side of it that is like amazing decorated the sides so on one of my bags that I did I did not decorate the inside of the gusset but on another bag that I did I did decorate the inside of the gusset so I think that it just really depends on what you're doing but I think that this looks beautiful especially like with the gold you can see how it kind of ties in with the gold of the gusset which is really cool I love that 
course, you probably couldn't see that because I had it down here and was yapping away and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, she's got a little gold tree. I love it. It looks so cool. And then the tree up here actually has a gold star at the top of the tree. And then the wreath here is got a gold gem in the middle of the bow, but it also has little gold in the middle of the red flowers. So it all ties in really, really well. I think that that's really cool. So that, this is the side that we went over and then this is the same concept. I think it's just exactly reverse. Yeah, so it's mirrored. So this tree is on this side on the other side. And yeah, so it's, it's mirrored. So that's really cool. And then this is the side that we did not go over. And I'm actually going to flip it like this so you guys can see it. And, oh, she, she reversed the scarf on this side. So on this side, the little tails are on this side. And then on this side, on this side, the tails are on this side. And then she's got the little sequins. Let me tell you something. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but hand gluing sequins on anything is painstaking. Like, don't get me wrong. I love crafting. I love paper crafting. I love, you know, blinging this, that, and another. But I'm still lazy. And I'm still to the point of, you know, if there's an easy way to do it, then I will do it. And hand gluing sequins is that's difficult not because it's actually hard to do but because i end up just saying you know i don't need to do this because it's just so complicated like it's not hard it's just picking the the things up like i have fat fingers so picking up these and these actually aren't even tiny these are big picking these things up and then sticking them down and she did hot glue on these so trying to touch them at the same time I've burned myself one too many times. Like I actually have a scar on my thumb right there where I burned the ever living daylights out of my thumb and it, it's, um, it blistered immediately and yeah, it's been like that ever since. So for that to be hot glue as well, very, very impressive. Oh, and she's got the sequins on the eyeball. That's just cool. That's really cool. So nonetheless, or nevertheless, sorting out all the sequins and then painstakingly putting them on. That is really, really cool. And I appreciate that. That is amazing. And she's got some more down here. Love that. And some more of these burlap flowers. These burlap flowers, man. I love it. And then the snowman. Or snowman. That's not a snowman. That's a gingerbread girl. And you know it's a girl because it's got a little bow tie. See the little bow tie? It's so cute. She's got a hair bow and her little rosy cheeks. I love it. I love it. And she's got another holly leaf right there with the berries. And then a snowflake right there. So yeah, that is it. Uh-oh, we lost a thing and I have no idea where that came from. Because normally I would look for an empty spot, like where there's glue, but there's no, you know, object. But I don't see an empty spot of glue. But anywho, it says meet me under the mistletoe. <laughs> that is so cute. I love it. So I love this bag. Thank you so much, Miss Terry Smith. This was awesome. I love this bag. I'm so using this to put, you know, some of our Christmas presents in. I have so much wrapping to do. Oh, girl, you don't know. It's, maybe you do know. I have no idea. There's, I know that a lot of my viewers have kids. A lot of my viewers are my age. Um, so, I know a lot of them have kids. So, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Like, it, it's just never ending. Like, I have so many presents in my car right now. I can't, I can't even go shopping anymore because my car is full. And I can't bring the stuff inside because, you know, my kids will peek. 
but my older two know, you know, don't unlock the car because your presents are in there. But my youngest, Sydney, if they were in the house, she'd open them. She'd open them all. So I have to actually wait like a couple days before Christmas to wrap everything. Anyway, my point is, is that this will come in quite handy. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I love bags because they make it so easy. So easy. All I got to do is put them in there, put some tissue paper in there, and go poof, we're done. But I actually really like this idea on, you know, the altered gift bags. Fantastic. I had a lot of fun doing mine. And I, it looks like you had a lot of fun doing yours as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I hope you like this video. And Miss Terry Smith, you did an amazing job. Uh, thank you so much. You have no idea. This is just, this is beautiful. Thank you so much. And thank you guys again for watching. Until next time. Bye guys.